at the auction this morning. They actually have some pretty good stuff today that I want to show you. Hopefully I can win it for cheap. I'm not gonna go crazy bidding because there's no point in overpaying. We don't want to pay retail. Let's see what we can do. Here we have a Nintendo lot and it actually has some decent games here. Final Fantasy, Zelda. But everyone knows that Nintendo sell for a decent amount, so it's going to be hard to get this. So this is the rarest game in the lot. Already own that one, but it would be good to have for resale. We got more video games over here, and if you look, it's a bunch of junk. Until you get to that, that's pretty good. And that one, that's really good. I don't want to draw too much attention, because then people will be like, Oh, what's in there? Oh. I should bid on that. Ooh. This is a pretty good one too. Hopefully I can get lucky on that auction. The way it works is it starts at $10 and it goes up from there. And then if you're the highest bidder, you get to pick the lot you want on the table. So you could be going against someone who's not even bidding on the same thing that you are. So it can get tough at times. They have this Macintosh computer right here. These also have value. They're a pain in the neck to ship, but it's worth it. They got these comics right here. <laughs> so boxes of comics seem cool, but when they're just loose random ones, it's really hard to do anything with these unless you're buying them for yourself. We got some interesting records here. Hopefully I can get for a cheap price. Ones that you'll never find in the wild. Red man. Pretty cool. What? Venom. Whoa. The Beatles. you already have that one metal church Judas priest noise interesting wow. another venom record so these don't seem to be in the best of shape, unfortunately, but still pretty cool. The Smiths. A lot of people here do buy records, so it's probably going to be tough to get these. Like that guy standing over my back making grunting noises. So things like this, bins of CDs. I try to get those for like $10, $15 and then, uh, you know, dig through them and hopefully there's some good ones in there. If there's nothing, it's not really a big loss. Cheap investment there. Got some DVDs right here. Indiana Jones and stuff. Pirates. Nothing too crazy in that one. We got cassettes. With such a small lot of cassettes, that's not even really worth the minimum $10 bid. So I said you don't know who you're bidding against, but once you come here enough, you kind of do know what the other people are bidding on. So that kind of gives you a frame of reference. So I have some CDs over here, but they look pretty dirty. If CDs are scratched, they basically have no value. So like this right here, Pink Floyd the Wall. Oh, cool. Oh, missing a CD. 
Oh, the other CD is Disturbed. So records can be tough. I'm really not sure what I should bid. I think I'll go as high as 100 on that box. The Husker Du one is worth about 50 alone. So yeah, Husker Du has that big scratch right there, unfortunately. Maybe someone will buy it and can buff it out or something. I don't know. Not really sure how much to spend on these. We got more records over here, but these ones aren't as good. But they're not bad either. Just not in great shape. A loose Pink Floyd The Wall. You should put that in the CD case. Take a good look at it. All right, on choice from me to Tom, me to Tom, right down to the records and the baskets. On choice, any one of the lots, 10 bucks. 15, 20, 5, 5, 30, 25, 30, 5, 40, 5, 45. Where's Paulie? Right here, right there. All right. 55, 65, 75, 85, 90, 85, 90, 85, 90, 5, 9 to the bid, 95. Over 90 here. bucks, fire, Over here. Oh, records. Taking the records, oh, taking the records. Oh, I was trying, trying to tell you, Polly. Now you knew what the look was. No, I thought Paid I thought $90 for a headache. I know. This slot's out. What was the number again on it? 63. I'm just going to... Do it again, 10. 15. 20. 25. 20. Yeah, I think you said, yeah, I think you 20. The record's right here. Oh, never mind. One. <laughs> I know it was that one. Was it 119? Yeah. yeah. 119. Yeah. 10, 15. $20 box of records. Okay. Now you're buying the whole pocket space. $10 yeah. where? 15. Yeah. Right $10. $10, 117. 10 to 117. We're moving. Lot 854. $10. Here, lot 854 on choice. That guy got this whole parking space for $10. $10 bidder. Are you the one who bought this whole spot? Yeah. How much do you want for the DVDs and cassettes? All right, guys, it's a fun lot. Ten bucks. What do you do? Like seven? Sure. Cool. Got the DVDs and the cassettes for seven dollars off the guy. Not a bad deal. So one of the guys bidding, he wants to buy these off of me for $20. Seems like a good deal. I think I'm going to do it. He wants them because they're promo albums. Let's see if I can get that Nintendo. 76 and I'll bid $100. And on the table, I have 7500 now. Yeah. One and a quarter, one and a half. I have one of the quarter, one of the half, one of the quarter over on the one of the half. I buy Nintendo, one of the quarter, 915. 915 buys Nintendo. Nintendo. Wasn't gonna pay $150 for that, so I didn't win it. Trying to bid on the Macintosh computer. Choice to the table. All the Coleman's are one money. All the Coleman's are one money. This is all Air Force in this whole tub. Fun stuff. I have 45, 50 now. I have 45 on the table. 50, 55, 50, 55, 60. That does include the early Apple computers. 60, 55, 60, 55. 117 computers out. So that guy won the computer for $60. If it works, awesome deal. If it's broken, not really a very good deal. Uh, missed out on that, but what can you do? Again, the golf club in the back, one money. You got Xbox games here. I hope you look at Gonna try to win here. the games. Somewhere, unopened packs right here. Japanese baseball cards, that's not even open. That's in there. All the sports right here, one money. These two, you got this, the Xbox, the doll lot, train dog lot, one, two, four, 20 and go. 25, 30, 5, 40. Five. Yeah. Fifty. Five. Yeah. Sixty. Five. Yeah. Seventy. Five. Seventy in. Seventy-five. Seventy bid. Seventy-five. Seventy bucks. One eighteen. Sports is out. Sports is out. One fifteen buys. So that's not even what I wanted. So it can get difficult. One eighteen. Yeah. That's what I mean. Choice. You get to the table. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Twenty-five. 
Yeah. 30, 5. 40, 5. One in the bid, now 5. 40 bucks. 119. 119. Xbox games are out. So you can see how it gets crazy there. The guy was bidding on sports cards, which I do not give a crap about at all. Uh, got all the games for $45. But this is worth more than that. And it's like I got all the rest of them for free. So in total with the fees and taxes, I paid $188. For the games, I actually paid 40. For some reason, I thought I paid 45, so that's good. Last week, I bought these, but I didn't pick them up. I just left a left bid. Got a box of DVDs for 10 bucks. And it's mostly classic movies. There's some uh, Criterions in there and stuff. So that's pretty neat. So this is one of the records, this weird Led Zeppelin bootleg album from Japan. And the guy also wanted to buy this one from me. I told him no because I wasn't sure how much it was worth. But I think I'll sell it to him just because he's a record collector and he wants it for his collection. And, uh, you know, I'm just happy that it will go to a good home. That's the way it's gonna work. I spent 200. I can use them for other ephemera in the future. If need be, 20 bucks. you're more than welcome. Yeah. It was $22 cool. a frame. So, had a pretty good day, as you saw. These are the DVDs that I picked up for seven bucks. Also came with the cassettes. Nothing too crazy here, just basically run of the mill stuff, but it is in pretty good condition. Had this one, Sucker Punch, which I've never heard of before. Resident Evil Afterlife Steel Book. That's pretty cool. There's a sequel to Without a Paddle Nature's Calling. Had no idea they made a sequel to that. I have like the Final Destination movies and stuff. And with the cassettes thrown in, that's a pretty good deal. I wouldn't have wanted to pay for either of these separate, but seven bucks for both is a good deal. So I already showed you the best ones from that expensive box I paid 90 for. Well, actually more like 50 because I sold for the records and made 40 bucks back uh, right away. The best ones being like the Husker Do and the Venom and stuff. Uh, but these were also in here, and I don't think I got to show these. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, Pretenders, Bob Dylan, Genesis. Never heard of them before, Pillbox, but this was the only uh, 45 7-inch in the lot. We got this Beatles. Sometimes uh, these Beatles ones can be valuable. Other times not at all because they made so many of them. This is just a compilation of hits. Uh, but pretty cool. I was very excited to find this one, Dead Boys. This is just a single, but I'll check it out. And then there's uh, this one album by Public Image Limited. I find this is a very cliche thing to do. Like it just says album, uh, just to be minimalistic, but so many other groups have done that since and maybe before. You have like the Black Keys, like, oh, this is the album by the Black Keys. And uh, another group also did that recently. I think in the 80s there was a, a group Flipper who also had the same thing where it's like, this is the album by Flipper. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to say that. I don't know, do what you will with that information. There was the $20 box of records. I didn't really show off too much. These were some of the better ones. Van Halen's first album, The Rolling Stones, Elvis Costello. This uh, Eric Clapton Greatest Hits. That's pretty cool. I've actually never heard of this guy before, I don't think. Leon Russell. Uh, but it looks uh, interesting, to say the least. It's a radio promo. I'll check that out. Got Doobie Brothers, Jethro Tull, Talking Heads, A Flock of Seagulls. And then we also have these right here. And the reason I'm wearing these gloves is because these are pretty dusty. But you have, like, Killing Joke. I'm pretty sure they're a punk band. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, we got this very dusty 
Soundgarden album without this, the uh, sleeve, of course, without the cover. I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing it's just like their first album or something, or maybe it's an EP. It only has five songs. Uh, interested in checking that one out. Blues Brothers, another loose one. And another Van Halen. This one's loose. Women and Children First. You to the Joshua Tree. And excited to find this one. Carnivore. Looks like it's uh, probably thrash metal. Road Racer Records. Pretty cool. Yeah. Black Sabbath Paranoid. I'll take it. Eric Clapton, Foreigner, New Edition single. Did Bobby Brown leave the bands by this point? I'm not really sure. I'm not a New Edition historian. Eagles, The Long Run, Blind Faith, Eric Clapton. Yeah. Led Zeppelin, their first album. You too, Cindy Lauper. You got this strange Bob Marley one and the Whalers, Babylon by Bus. <laughs> Only weird because the cover is see through. I was excited uh, for this for a second, but it's not an album. It's just uh, one of those flat things used to promote the album. I forget that what those are called. This one, awesome, fantastic. The Cure standing on a beach. The singles. So good. <clears throat> Mountain climbing. So I was just assuming this was some type of prog rock, uh, but then realized the song Mississippi Queen is just a standard rock tune. So I guess it's just a rock and roll group. Uh, but excited to check that out. And yeah, so that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. You can like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.